this class we work out five problems on verification of kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff's voltage law states that in a closed electrical circuit the sum of the potential drops is equal to sum of the potential rises or if a electrical circuit energized by a source the source voltage is equal to sum of the voltage drop across each resistor this is the statement of kirchhoff's voltage law now we will work out problems problem number 1 three lamps a b and c takes 0.7 0.8 and 0.9 amps respectively when they are connected across 110 volt supply calculate the value of current when they are connected in series across 220 volt supply assuming filament resistance to remain unaltered find the voltage across each lamp that is a question we know that i is equal to v by r r is equal to v by i v is given 110 volts i is equal to 0.7 0.8 0.9 we can easily find the lamp resistance lamp a resistance is equal to 157.14 Lamp B resistance is equal to 137.50. Lamp C resistance is equal to 122.22. The resistance R remains unaltered. When they are connected in series, the three lamps are connected A, B, C are connected in series, and we are giving 220 volt supply. When they are connected in 220 volt supply, we have to find the current. The total resistance is. R A plus R B plus R C that is equal to 416.86 ohms. Therefore, I is equal to 220 divided by 416.86 that is equal to 0.53 ohms. So the current is 0.53. All are connected in series. Current is constant. Therefore, we can easily find what is the voltage drop across each resistor. 157.14 into 0.53 that is equal to 83.28. And 137.5 into 0.53 that is equal to 72.88. 122.22 into 0.53 that is equal to 64.78. VA plus VB plus VC is equal to 220.94. Supply voltage is 220. Sum of the voltage drop across each lamp is equal to 220. Problem number two. Four resistors and two voltage sources are connected as shown in figure. This is 80 ohm, this is 30 ohm, this is 50 ohm, this is 30 ohm. I redraw the diagram like this. The both diagrams are same. This is 40. This is plus minus. This is 100 minus plus. When I draw like this, this will become plus. This is minus. This is 100. Again, this is plus. This is plus. Therefore, 100 minus 40 is equal to 60 volts. Voltage across is 60. This is 40. This is 100. The resistance is 80 plus 30 is equal to 110 ohm. This is 50 plus 30 that is equal to 80 ohm. This is 60 volts. The total resistance is 190. Therefore, the total current is 60 divided by 190 that is equal to 0.316 amps. So the current flow through the network is 0.316 amps. Here the higher potential it is a lower potential. Therefore, current flows through the, like this. Now, I have again easily find the voltage drop across each resistor. Voltage drop in the 80 ohm resistor is 25.28. Voltage drop in the 30 ohm resistor is 9.48. In the this 30 ohm resistor is 9.48. The 50 ohm resistor is 15.8. I will add all the voltage drop that is equal to 60.04 volts. The supply voltage is 60. Here the drop, each drop, sum of the voltage drop is equal to 60.04. Here the charge voltage law is verified. Problem number three: six resistors and one voltage source are connected as shown in figure. My aim is to find what is the current flow through the one ohm resistor, and I have to verify the charge voltage law. In this network, there are two deltas, A, B, C, one delta, B, D, C, another delta. I convert this delta into star. 
that is a b c this is a b c this is 2 ohms this is 4 ohms this is 7 ohms 2 4 7 therefore delta to star r1 is equal to 4 into 2 divided total resistance total resistance is 13 4 plus 7 plus 2 that is equal to 13 r1 is equal to 8 by 13 r2 is equal to 28 by 13 r3 is equal to 14 by 13 I know the star that is R1, R2, R3. I will draw the diagram like this. This is 0.62. This is 1.08. This is 2.15. This is 3 ohms. This is 6 ohms. These two are in series. These two are in series. That is 3 plus 1.08. That is equal to 4.08. Again, these two are in series. 2.15 plus 6. That is equal to 8.15. These two are in parallel. Therefore, the equivalent resistance is 4.08 into 8.15 divided by 4.08 plus 8.15 that is equal to 2.72. These two are in series 1 plus 0.62 that is equal to 1.62. The total resistance is 4.34 ohms. I know the voltage 25 volts. I is equal to V by R 25 divided by 4.34 that is equal to 5.76 amps. Current flow through the 1 ohm resistor is 5.76. Now, the voltage drop in the 1.62 ohm resistor is 9.33 volts. In the 2.72 ohm resistor is 15.66 volts. So, 9.33 plus 15.66 that is equal to 24.99, almost 25 volts. Kirchhoff's voltage law is verified. Then I want to verify the creature's current law. Current towards the junction is 5.76. Here, these two are in parallel. The voltage appear across this combination is 15.66. Therefore, 15.66 divided by 4.08 that is equal to 3.84. 15.66 divided by 8.15 that is equal to 1.92. 3.84 plus 1.92 that is equal to 5.76. Current towards the junction is 5.76. Current leaving the junction is 5.76. Voltage appears across each voltage drop is equal to 24.99 that is equal to source voltage 25. Here Kirchhoff's voltage law as well as current law is verified. Current flow through the one ohm resistor is 5.76 amps. Problem number 4. Seven resistors are connected as shown in figure. The source voltage is 10 volts. The voltage across A, B is equal to 0. Find the value of X. That is the question. I redraw the diagram like this. 12 plus 4 that is equal to 16. 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4. These two are parallel. 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 that is equal to 0.5. This is X. Apply V stone bridge principle. 16 by 4 that is equal to X by 0.5. X is equal to 2 ohms. Once I know the x is equal to 2 ohms, I redraw the diagram like this, 6, 6, 16, this is 2, this is 4, this is 0.5. Again, find the current. These two are in parallel, in parallel circuit voltage is constant. Therefore, 10 divided by 4.5, that is equal to 2.22 amps. 10 divided by 18, that is equal to 0.55 amps. Therefore, current towards the junction is 2.77, current leaving the junction is 2.77. Here the voltage is that is 0.55 into 6 is equal to 8.88 volts. Here 2.22 into 4 that is equal to 8.88 volts. Here 0.55 into 2 that is equal to 1.1. 0.5 into 2.22 that is equal to 1.1. Here the voltage is equal, hence the voltage across AB is equal to 0. Here the Kirchhoff's current law as well as Kirchhoff's voltage law is verified. X value is 2 ohms. Problem number 5, a 60 watt 220 volt bulb and 200 watt 220 volt bulb are connected in series across a 440 volt DC supply. Number 1, find voltage across each bulb. Number 2, determine the value of resistor R3 to be connected in parallel with the 60 watt bulb to ensure equal sharing of voltage. That is the second question. We know that power P is equal to V square by R. Here, the 60 watt bulb and its rated voltage is given 220. Therefore, resistance of 60 watt bulb is equal to 220 square divided by 60, that is equal to 806.67 ohms. 
Similarly, the resistance of 200 watt bulb is equal to 220 square divided by 200 that is equal to 242 ohms. I need draw the diagram like this. This is R1, 806.67. This is R2, that is equal to 242. The total resistance is 806.67 plus 242, that is equal to 1048.67. I know the voltage, I know the resistance, I can find current. I is equal to 440 divided by 1048.67. Therefore, I is equal to 0.42 amps. This is 0.42 amps. Voltage across 60 watt bulb is equal to 0.42 into 806.67. That is equal to 338.80. Voltage appears across the 200 watt bulb is equal to 0.42 into 242. That is equal to 101.64. 338.80 plus 101.64. That is equal to 440 volts. Kirchhoff's voltage law is verified. Number two, I have to connect a resistance across uh, 60 watt bulb to ensure equal sharing of voltage. I have to find R3. When I connect R3, R1 into R3 divided by R1 plus R3, that is in these two are in parallel, therefore R1 into R3 divided by R1 plus R3, that is equal to R2. I know the value of R1 and R2. I simplify the equation. I find the R3. R3 is equal to 345.71. The resistance are to be connected across 60 watt bulb to get an equal sharing of voltage is 345.71 ohms. When I connect the 345.71, these two are in parallel. Therefore, 806.67 into 345.71 divided by 806.67 plus 345.71 that is equal to 242 ohms. Now, the initially this current is 0.42. Now, the total resistance will change because 242 plus 242, that is 484. 440 divided by 484, that is equal to 0.91. So, this is the current. Here, this, this current is 0.42. Here, the current will become, after connecting the resistance R3, the current is 0.91. Therefore, I, uh, the voltage appear across the 60 volts, 220 volts. Voltage across 220, uh, 200 watts bulb is equal to 220 volts. 220 plus 220 is equal to 440. So the resistance is 345.71. The current at the without connecting R3 that is equal to 0.42. While connecting R3 the resistance the current will become 0.91. Here the voltage is 338.80. This bulb glow bright. This is 101.64. Here this uh, voltage will become equal. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.